Of the countless men who lost their lives in the fight for Normandy, one was a promising young poet. His name was Keith Douglas. As the Sherwood Rangers pushed on from Bayeux, he was killed during an outburst of enemy shelling and mortar fire near the village of Saint-Pierre on the 9th of June. His grave is close by in the war cemetery at tilly sur seine As the town of Bayeux celebrates the anniversary of its liberation, people will never forget the young men who sacrificed their lives. Douglas wrote this, waiting for his regiment to embark. Everyone, I suppose, will use these minutes to look back, to hear music and recall what we were doing and saying that year, during our last few months as people, near the sucking mouth of the day that swallowed us all into the stomach of a war. Keith Douglas never finished the poem. Well, two of the officers serving with Keith Douglas's unit, the Sherwood Rangers, were Major John Simpkin and Captain David Renders. Thank you both for joining us here this morning. John Simpkin, let me start with you first. Your regiment, the Sherwood Rangers, had quite high losses on D-Day, didn't it? Well, yes, indeed. Of the two leading squadrons, only two-thirds ever got off the beach. Once we got off the beach, things went better than we'd ever hoped. Um, and... and you were here on D-Day, but for you and the Sherwoods, D-Day was just the beginning of a long journey, wasn't it? It was, it was uh, the easiest day of a ghastly battle when uh, Normandy was, became a battlefield and was converted into a charnel house for man and beast. When we left Normandy, it was a horror. And of course, then was, that was only the beginning of the journey anyway, through Belgium, France, Belgium, Holland into Germany, journey of a thousand miles uh, as the crow flies, and of course, marked all the way by the graves of young men. Well, let's, um, let's talk to David Render here. David, you were a young officer serving with John Simkin at the time. You've been here several times, I know that. What brings you back here, David? Well, I come back out of respect for our friends in the regiment who are unfortunately lying down here whilst, quite honestly, we're standing up. And what are your, I mean, you know, what are your personal thoughts about seeing all the headstones here? Well, only of sadness, isn't it, really? I, I mean, uh, when you think of all the young men who uh, came from all over the world, really, to uh, liberate the uh, French and the continental people, um, it was an amazing achievement and when you look at them and see them here they came all that way and ended up six foot down or <laughs> sometimes not even six foot down just bits of them. Uh, David Render a very poignant story indeed. John Simkin and David Render thank you very much for sharing your personal thoughts today. Thank you.